It's a new uh, program where uh, students must have a bust ID. Uh, it's going to be yellow, but it basically has their student information, their ID, uh, their address, and also um, what bus they're supposed to ride. Well, this is a district-wide initiative. This is part of the bond program that we had, uh, that the voters voted for, and it's really to make sure that our students are safe and secure, even when they're en route to school. Uh, it is a zonar, so we do know that uh, when kids are on a bus, when they scan in and when they scan off, uh, we'll, we'll keep track of them better. It's, uh, it was thought that, uh, again, especially for our younger students, that we know exactly where they are at all times, but also for our older students. I think there's a lot of times where uh, parents have a lot of questions they may not have uh, access to technology and they can't uh, find out where their students are. Mm -hmm. And this is just a way for, to, make, to reassure the parents that, they, uh, that their students are safe. Mm -hmm. You will have to have that pass. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not ready to implement a, an ID for the students that go from the CTC to um, their home school, mm -hmm. but eventually that will also occur. They do. They do. As a matter of fact, I have that, a copy of that roster now. Every bus driver should know exactly who's supposed to get on their bus and who, what stop they're supposed to get off. So that's going to be their responsibility as well. No, no, we don't have that policy in place. Not here at school. Um, stu teachers can still issue a yellow temporary ID, and they can keep track of that, and, and you know, consequences can be given based on you know, what, a, what a teacher wants to do and also what an assistant principal wants to do. But, but students must have proper identification to get in the building. Um, that's just the regular ID that everyone has. But what's going to be more important about this, the transportation ID, mm -hmm. is that uh, it's going to, the, the bus drivers will not allow students on a bus. Mm -hmm. So technically what can happen is that they could be left. Mm -hmm. I mean, the bus, I mean, and it's, and, and I know there'll be some students that, uh, that are not very good about keeping up with their ID, but in order to get on that bus, they have to have it. Now we allow students to come into the building without an ID and then we issue a temporary one and there'll be a process for issuing a temporary bus ID and they can also buy a new one if they lose one, but it's going to be a process that we go through. So the lesson here is that keep up with your ID keep it in a safe place, much like your, your phone or anything that's very important to you, make sure you hold on to that ID. The, this, this has actually gone into effect. This policy has, been, has gone into effect for the last couple of years. They started off with elementary schools, and, they start, and then, then they went to the junior highs. So many of the junior highs already have this policy in place. Many of the elementary schools already have this policy in place. So the high schools are just now getting on board. So this is, uh, I think, year two, for, uh, and all the high schools are getting the same presentations. Okay.